Hey everyone, it's Eric here from Mac. We got another video for you guys today. Today we got in this M1 MacBook. Hmm, it says M3 on the back, but it's supposed to be M1. Huh, you can tell it's different, right? Because you got the MagSafe, you got everything else there. And it's kind of strange. Let's, let's open this up. And look, oh yeah, we got the MacBook. Usually the sticker here probably means the screen got replaced. <laughs> That's usually the case for them. That's why you have the sticker there in the back. And yeah, this isn't the Mac, this isn't the M3. We were deceived. We got the two pro ports there. We'll call it the two pro ports. You only got two of them. You don't get that many more. And yeah, this is the A2337. So this is an M1 MacBook Air. It's funny because it was with the M3 uh, MacBook Air box, which is okay, cool, I guess. Maybe they bought a new one and then they just want to have an extra one on the side there. You know, we just got M MacBooks just laying around everywhere, just trying to use a bunch of them. So. So this one was actually for a student. They were actually studying and they were using it and all of a sudden it just powered off, right? And they don't know why. Well, we don't either yet and we want to figure out why today, right? That's the whole point of it. Uh, so we're getting five volts, about 0 0.05, 0 0.06 amps. And we're also getting, let's see, we plug in the other port, about five volts, 0 0.05, 0 0.06 amps. So about the same, either one. We got no touchpad working, we got no Cap slight just completely dead there. So as you guys know, for these ones, um, this is an M1, and M1 is very similar to the processor and um, the whole architecture that's in like a lot of the phones as well as tablets. So the, for repairs, it, it's a little bit different doing the repairs for them because everything is integrated, which most of the MacBooks are for the most part. But there is a security chip that's baked right into the processor on this one, so it makes uh, getting data off a lot more difficult than typical ones. Because sometimes what happens is even after you do a fix for them, it, the voltages look to all be about the same there and everything looks to be okay. Or maybe you're still getting five volts after you did a repair and you know, all the power rails look to be fine and then you still get no power. That's because there is a problem, most likely with a security chip. This is like, hey, what just happened? What did you do to me? And then it just stops everything all of a sudden. And then sometimes you have to restore that firmware, which wipes the data. So we usually break these down into data recoveries versus doing repairs for them. So in here, we're looking forward to just doing a fix for it today. So let's go ahead and uh, take a look and see what's going on. We're going to go ahead and pop the bottom cover and we're going to go see if uh, hopefully there's like a liquid spill or something that, that could show us where something is, where the damage is. Otherwise, we could have a lot of fun just digging deep and we're going to go ahead and see um, what's going on today. So. Thank you for joining me on this journey. Really do appreciate that. Um, leave a like too. Uh, if you are more interested in figuring out what's going on before you watch the rest of the video, and if you stay the rest of the video too, we always appreciate that. Go ahead and subscribe. We have lots of other data recoveries and MacBook repairs on this channel. So let's get right into it. Let's dive deep and see what's going on. Go ahead and pop it up. All right, so we got the battery removed and we're gonna go ahead and see, is there any obvious liquid damage? Is there anything obvious there? Do we see anything too obvious? Uh, not really. Um, most likely the screen has been replaced, especially if you see. So when we look under here, we see there is a little bit of a white sticker. That usually means the screen has been replaced. Sometimes you can actually see that right through. Um, and also that the coverings here don't really seem to be existent. Let's go ahead and just remove the board. We'll go ahead and take a look at it and see if there's any obvious damage on the other side too, because I don't really see anything here. But we'll go under the microscope and double check. So see here, there's a little bit of like sticky or something. Go under the microscope, make sure that the C32 is okay which is your USB-C circuit, because that's right where you plug in. Yeah, so it looks okay. I don't really see anything obvious, but that's why you have a microscope and a thermal cam. So since it was a little bit sticky, I'm curious to see this area under here, just to make sure that there isn't any damage to the C32, because there was a little bit something there. All right, let's just go ahead and look. Nothing, oh, what's that? There looks a little something there. You see this is like this little bit of black sludge over here. What's this area? What is, what is this here? impact this area because it's very strange this is here what is that i don't know slightly dap it up and see i'm not really sure what that is but anyways Looks like there is damage, there's a burn to this area. It 
So it does look like that this, this one did blow there. So both of these looked a bit damaged, but they could be the, on the same line there, maybe, but they're cracked. So let's go ahead and just plug this in. And we're on this side, so I'm curious just how it's going to react on a thermal cam, right? Are we going to see something? It looks like we are. So we're seeing this one uh, flash and flicker, and that does look like that there is a problem, right, with that one. That's the one that's burnt and, and doing something. So what that's doing is that's actually causing a short that goes around there, and most likely the one that's burned is the major problem. Just we could try that again. Do you see that? Looks like there's a rave going on down there, man. They're all by themselves. No one else wants to party with them. So we plug in the other port and see it does the same thing. So that looks to be it. So we need to call the cops on this party. We need to make sure that we clear out everyone, make sure everyone's fine because you know they're doing some bad stuff there. So let's go ahead and remove them and uh, see what happens after that. Hopefully that should actually make it work. So this one I actually have is uh, similar to the other one. It's, it is one of the M1 MacBook Airs, 820-02016 model, and it is a little bit different. See, now if we look at this, this, this side is completely different. Actually, it's not a little bit different. It's completely different than the one that we have here. Because the one that we have here is a little bit of a different model. I thought it might have been like an M2 model or something like that, but it is actually completely different, especially the layout and how, how it looks and how it works. So for right now, um, I'm going to go ahead and see because we removed these two. I just want to see how the board is going to react now. So we'll clean this up a little bit. All right. So I wanted to show you guys the board view of it, but unfortunately, I don't actually have the board view of that one. I don't know if it even exists yet, but it probably should because it's another one. But let's see if I plug it in. Let's see if the difference is. Okay. So let's go ahead and uh, let's plug in the battery here. Let's go ahead and plug it in. And let's go see if it turns on because... <laughs> You can't tell until you press the power button sometimes, or at least have this thing fully plugged in. So we are getting our 20 volts here, which is good. Looks like the amps are kicking up. All right, so let's see if we get a display, and we got a display. So it looks like it's powering on. And it looks like there's multiple users. <laughs> so. There we go. So it looks like we powered it on. Um, so that did work. We're just going to go ahead. We'll get the components for that one. I'm going to go ahead and make sure they're replaced. And uh, we'll make sure we test it well. Make sure everything looks to be pretty good. And that should be it there. It looks like that main line was damaged. Anyways, guys, I hope you guys enjoyed watching this video on doing the fix for the A2337 MacBook Air. Please do like, really does help us a lot. Subscribe for more content. Do lots of videos for our MacBook repairs, data recoveries, and lots of other cool things on this channel. And it really does help us out if you can leave that like. So. Uh, hope you guys enjoy the repair and see you guys next week. Thanks for watching, guys. Take care. Bye.